Hi friends, I wanted to make a shorter video to explain how I add glow to sprites in Game Maker. Glow is an aesthetic I love to add to my games, so much so that I try to limit myself lest I go overboard. I grew up with cartoons like The Legend of Zelda, Thundercats, X-Men, and The Ninja Turtles. I still study them today and am puzzled as to how these awesome glow and flash effects were created with traditional cell animation. However they did it, these visuals left a lasting impression on me which I carry to this day as a constant source of inspiration. And today I just want to show you how to easily add glow to objects in Game Maker and create bright flashy effects. So create a new sprite and make the canvas size pretty large so that the glow on the image isn't clipped. I'm going to start off with the circle tool and I'm going to make a white circle. It's a good idea to use white even if you plan to use another color since it's easy to change later. So the way I make all my glow in Game Maker is by making a lot of duplicate layers to blur. So I'm going to make a duplicate layer of this circle and I'm going to want to always lock the top layer so it remains unmodified. I'm going to change the color of the duplicated circle to red. You'll have to decide what color you want your glow to be before blurring because changing the color afterwards is a little more difficult. Then I'm going to blur not one but multiple layers underneath and the degree and type of blur you add to each layer matters here. I like to blur one to two of the layers just slightly as that will add more of an outline around the circle. The other layers I will blur all the way to give the glow more spread and usually I'll have one layer that's somewhere in between as well as a layer with box blur rather than Gaussian. But it all comes down to the look you prefer. Now that I have the right look for the glow, I want to make this circle look like a sun. So I'm going to color the center a pale pinkish orange. Now that it looks like a sun, I'm going to make it pulsate a bit. And the way I'm going to do that is by duplicating more of the top layers and blurring them. So I'll add two more frames and two more duplicate layers. And I'm going to erase the circles on the two layers I made on the first frame of the animation and one of them on the second frame. Then I'm going to color the circles red and blur them again. Lastly, I'm going to copy the second frame and paste the copy on the end of the animation. Now if I slow the FPS and play the animation, we have a warm pulsating sun. After I'm satisfied with my glow, I'll merge all the blurred layers to consolidate things. But as long as I keep the top layer unblurred, I can always add or modify if I decide I want to change anything. So that's how you add glow to a single image, but I also want to show you how to add glow to an animated image with many frames that changes from frame to frame. It's basically the same process, only you have to keep in mind that any time you blur a layer or change its color, you'll want to make sure every frame is selected. There's been a lot of times when I was focused on getting the right look only to find I had only one frame selected, then I would have to start over. Another dilemma you might come across is adding glow to the outline of an existing image that is colored opposed to white or a solid color. When this is the case, I will copy the image and select the color black. Doing so will cause all the colors to turn black and thus you have a solid color mask of your image. I draw the mask on its own layer that I can duplicate later. When doing this for an animation, you will have to make a new mask for each frame that your image moves. But after that, you can repeat the earlier process and you can make your subject glow or blink or pulsate with energy. And there you have it. This is just one style of glow, but it looks pretty good and it's pretty easy to do this way. Hopefully you found this technique useful. As always, thanks for watching and take care friends.